Right, welcome to day three of our week with the HEC Hero. Here you can see my main screen again. Um, this time, um, actually, I'm just going to answer a few questions on the YouTube video comments. Um, the reason I'm doing it in the car is, unfortunately, we have only got a few days with this handset, and um, I, unfortunately, we don't have time to video it uh, um, in in the house currently. So. Uh, we're videoing it in the car and it's all one handed as usual but um, I will get a tripod don't you worry now here on the home screen we've got no clock anymore so we can press the plus button on the bottom right here or we can sort of tap and hold the screen and we can choose a HTC widget again and I'm going to say clock and there's loads of different types of clocks you can have a small one, a, a big one, a, the one with the calendar built into it, so one with dual times on it um, a digital clock, um, sort of, I don't know what that is, some planetary clock type thing, um, a flashy clock like that, an old style clock, a funky clock like that, a sort of watch type thing. I'm going to choose this one here. And it says, What city do you want to show? I'm going to say the current city, please, wherever we may be. So it says here that I'm in Castle Church, which is my current location down in there. So you can see I've got my clock, that's as easy as it is to add uh, new clocks into it. Um, I also wanted to show you, if we go into settings, which is on, um, oh by the way that was my text message there, I'll just show you, this. that's the text message interface there, and it says, hi from Orange, and you can reply to that, if I click that, it shows you the text message and you can reply to it by tapping in there. And the keyboard, I must say, is very intuitive, and it does correct your errors. And of course, you can flick it around um, this way. It takes a few seconds, and have it on widescreen mode as well uh, if you want to compose a text message that way. So that's how you uh, do text messages. I'll just show you if I go into settings. Now you can go down here and get some extra programs here, got the HTC footprints on board, I'll show you that on another video, got that market, um, clock, Google Talk, Tita, which is the HTC sort of game which relies on the G-Sensor, you may have seen it, the YouTube application, again we'll show you this in other videos. If I go into settings though, and I go into personalize, on the top here, and then if we go into um, scenes, there's various scenes. I've got one that I've saved here called Cool Smartphone, which if I just press that one, and say, are you sure you want to do this? And you can save the current screen scene that you've got. And I say done to that one. And then go home. And it will switch to the saved scene that I created uh, in previous videos. Now it takes a few seconds just to load that up. And there's the previous scene. It changes the lock screen back to how it was and everything else. Uh, there's various things to choose from, various scenes to choose from here. So if I go back into my programs um, and then settings down at the bottom here. Personalize, scenes, and I'll, let's choose social. So let's say I'm going to be a social boy today. You can sort of select that one and then go home takes a few seconds again to change it and it's crashed <laughs> but there we go we've got the social um, the social interface here and you've got the Twitter app there on that um, page and you've got the calendar showing on there as well so that's a quick overview of the um, HTC scenes interface